goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. This one is how to install replace pads. This is going to be a folder that I made where you could um, just put all your replaced pads inside of that folder instead of going through all the files, alright? Um, there will be a link down in the description by the time this video is done, but as of right now while I'm doing the video, the um, mod isn't up yet at uh, GTA 5 mods okay so I'm gonna go through this quickly just to show you how I install it on um, the left hand side right here I have uh, the replace pads folder that's the one that uh, this tutorial is going to be mainly about right here the replace pads folder and inside of there is going to be another folder and inside that folder is going to be our archive okay um, I also got two more folders right here these are just uh, some add-on pads that um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace a pad in the game with okay so on the right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right here and um, you you have to have a mods folder for this so uh, make sure that you have a mods folder and make sure that you have uh, copied the update folder right here make sure you copy that to your mods folder okay all right now if you already have a mods folder let's go ahead and open up our mods folder click on update 64 DLC packs and right here is where we're going to place our replace pads folder so uh, let's come over here to replace pads folder and uh, this folder right here that says replace pads we're going to drag and drop that whole folder right here into our DLC packs all right now that that's done, we need to open up our open four. Okay, we're gonna need open four. We'll go ahead and pop that up. As you can see, I have my open four opened up on my right hand side right here. Now, what we need to do is add replace pads to our DLC list. Okay, so what you need to do is come over here to open four, go on the side, select update, then select update RPF. Go down to uh, common and then data and at this point you should have this red flag right here saying copy to mods folder go ahead and select copy to mods folder or if you have it in your mods folder already it's going to say show in mods folder all right now once you copy that to your mods folder you want to scroll down till you see dlc list.xml we're going to right click on that and then we're going to select edit all right once that opens up what we want to do is copy the last item line I'm just going to copy that place the cursor at the end of that line and press enter on the keyboard it's going to open up a new line from this point on we're just going to go ahead and paste that line that we copied so now we have two of the same line all right now let's go back over to um, our replace pad folder. I'm just gonna highlight the name just to copy the name because the name has to be exactly the same as the folder. Now let's go back over here to our item line, the last one we just added. We're gonna highlight the name and we're gonna paste replace pads over that name, just like that. All right, as you can see, I have a new line that says replace pads right here. When you're done with that, go ahead and click save. All right, now that we have that saved, let's close all our archives. Now let's go to a uh, mods folder, update 64 DLC packs and scroll down to replace pads. Go to dlc.rpf. 64 and right here will be all of the files that we can replace uh, pads and animals okay now if we go back over here to um, the replace pad folder there is a readme inside okay it's very important that you read this readme because you're definitely going to need it to know um, what uh, pads to replace and what names you can use to replace the pads 
if you look down here inside of the readme i have included all of the names of the pads inside each archive so it should be easy for you to find the name of the pad that you want to replace okay so i'm going to do a um quick example right now what i'm going to do is I am going to uh, start off with this one, for example. This one is a uh, narcotic right here. Now, what I'm going to do, since narcotic is a streamed pad, streamed pads uh, usually come with a folder and two files. He is a stream pad, so you will be able to also replace stream pads. If you look right here, stream pads will go right here stream pads underscore ig so what you want to do is scroll down the list and you're going to see stream pads underscore ig okay so and we also could put stream replace the stream pads as well but for our stream pads we want to go to stream pads underscore ig so let's go over here to um, open four and as you can see the last archive is streampids underscore ig dot rpf i'm gonna go ahead and open that one up all right now let's go back to my readme all right let's scroll all the way down to streampids ig now from this point all we can all um we have to do is just pick a name all right since um Make sure that if uh, you are replacing a male to use a male pad out of the archive, or if you are using a female pad, then replace it with a female pad in the archive, okay? So mine's is gonna be a male. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go pick Lamar Davis, all right? We are going to replace Lamar Davis. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight ig underscore lamar davis I'm gonna copy his name i'm gonna come over to the stream pad that i have here i go ahead and highlight each one of them then i'm going to click rename and i'm going to paste ig lamar davis and as you can see all of them have changed to ig lamar davis from this point I'm going to drag all highlighted files you see right here and drag and drop them into the stream pads underscore IG archive. And as you can see, we have the files right here that says Lamar Davis. But if you click on them and open up this folder, I will show you the head. And you can see that this is not Lamar Davis. It's a whole different pad. All right. Now let's go back to the base right here where we have all of our files. And I'm gonna go back to a different character. I'm gonna use a uh, Harley Quinn. All right. Now as you can see, we got Harley Quinn right here. And she has four files, so she is not streamed, okay? So um, we could go ahead and use another archive since she is not streamed. So we are going to be using component pads underscore IG. Okay, we'll be using this list right here. So since she is a girl, Harley Quinn is a girl, I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, I'll use IG Ashley. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight at IG Ashley's name, copy that name. I'm gonna come over to, uh, the pad that I want to use to replace IG Ashley. I'm gonna highlight all uh, all four of the files and then I'm gonna right click and then click rename. Then I'm going to go ahead and paste IG underscore Ashley right there. Click enter and it should change all the names of the files, which it just did. Once that's done, we are going to go over to our open four and find component pads underscore ig it's right here open that up now let's come over to our pad files and i'm gonna drag and drop all four files right here and as you can see it has uh, the new pad name which is ig ashley 
go ahead and open up that file and you can see that this is Harley Quinn okay so this is a uh, very easy saves you a lot of memory also um, go ahead and exit out of that all right so don't forget everything uh, that's important is inside this readme okay so let's go ahead and exit out this right here we can go ahead and close all our close all archives also don't forget to remember the names of the pads you replaced so when you're in game you can spawn that pad okay um, it's very easy to forget the names all right and also it's very important to have at least um, one trainer which is a mod menu either simple trainer uh, menu or enhanced native trainer whatever trainer or menu that you use that can spawn pads you will need that all right so uh, since we're all done installing and using um, open 4 we can go ahead and exit out open 4 minimize whatever windows we have open and run the game all right once you have uh, spawned inside of the game go ahead and open up your uh, your menus and um, find the pad I'm gonna go ahead and make mine a uh, bodyguard so I had replaced to uh, IG Ashley I believe Select IG Ashley and there we go. Alright. So that's pretty much how you do it. We got um we got the pet that I replaced. I replaced IG Ashley with Harley Quinn. Okay. This is uh very simple, easy to do. Um yeah. Especially if you're having problems with add on pets or if you just want to just replace a pet real quick. Um, let's see if we could spawn the other one, which was Lamar Davis, I believe. Um, right. Okay, there we go. Right, he's in here, but um, yeah, some I have to adjust his clothes. <laughs> he's missing his pants there, but yeah, he he, he in the building though. <laughs> all right so um yep you can replace um animals pads stream pads non-stream pads just put them in the right folder and you're all good to go all right and this is good so you don't have to copy each uh folder that has whatever pad that you're replacing you don't have to copy the whole archive you can just go ahead and place it in the replace pads folder all right so if this helped everybody out definitely smash that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share the video with all your friends especially if they're into modding gta 5 y'all this is games of graphics me and harley quinn and narcotic <laughs> we are out of here until next time y'all <laughs>